In Venezuela, Nelson Rampersad, a technical advisor for the opposition primary, said that the number of voters is being distorted out of proportion. The problem is, and this is what I'm saying, that more than 520,000 people didn't go to vote at the event. And the numbers are being distorted to numbers that are unprecedented. Then I would like to comment on the following question. I didn't say that 478,000 people vote at a primary voting table. I say the average, and the average is calculated by dividing the number of votes that Dr. Casales say he has accumulated by the number of voting tables. This is around 1,500,000 by 3,030. 31 voting tables that results to 478. The average in each voting table should have been 478 votes. But there were tables where 100 people could have voted, and in other tables there should have been 800 or 1,000 people voting. This is not true. That's what I mean. And that in one minute to cast the vote. All the statisticians and the planners know that according to the line theory, that's not possible. A single line for a table for 500 or 600 people to vote there. That's not true. And that is cheap to the society. Trumpers had also mentioned that the political slogan of the apparent winner of the primaries will lead the country to a new escalation of violence. I would like to make an observation about this person and a warning to the country that we should be vigilant through you until the end, which was his permanent voice. It is not a simple electoral slogan, nor is it a mantra. It is a political strategy. until the end means a process that is coming next and many are saying it of fighting for its validation its qualification as a candidate this is going to lead us again to an open confrontation with the regime in the streets with blood on the asphalt as many of them like to see it